Hello everybody and welcome, this is Adrian, thank you so much for joining me. Let's play some more Hearts of Iron 4 is Communist Turkey. So in the previous episode, we have pushed a lot into Germany. Germany's days are now numbered. Um, I'm in a block with the Republicans and Yugoslavia and Iran, and we're about to completely invade and almost probably destroy Germany. The Soviet Union is also at war with Germany, so we're going to make this offensive push right here. Um, we're going to try and get to Berlin if we can. That'd be really cool if we did get to Berlin. We'll see how that works. So far, it looks like we have a two-pronged invasion, one going into what looks to be Lower Austria and... One that looks to be going up into Germany. The vast bulk is, is here in Germany. The vast bulk is here in Germany. 91 divisions there. We do have what looks to be three divisions advancing here in the south. We should be doing okay. The Soviet Union has been mostly the person to advance against um, the Germans. They're doing pretty good. And um, yeah, they have like 861 divisions. Holy shit. We're running out of manpower, so we're probably going to have to move to a new uh, conscription law. The Germans have lost 2 million men. I've lost about maybe a quarter of that. Let's go to all adults serve. It's going to hit our production, but that's okay. We'll have the we'll have the manpower we need for the rest of the game. 1.35 million. That's a lot. So we do have some problems with production because we have some unrest. It's being taken care of, but it still takes time. Send all these repairs to the top. So we're going to be finishing this up pretty soon. Someone's going to get to Berlin eventually. My hoping is me. Um, we're made, we've made very inv uh, impressive gains within like three or four months, I will admit. We're about to close out this pocket here in what looks to be Czechoslovakia. There's some sort of pocket there that my general feels is a good idea to close out on. So we're going to we're going to tie the noose there. Soviets have absolutely made unprecedented gains here. Their military forces is, is unprecedented. I've never seen anything like it. Um, honestly, I actually imagine that that invasion is somehow pretty historical. <laughs> I imagine once the Germans fell back, dude, it was all over. We're on the outskirts of Berlin, to be honest, a couple hundred kilometers. Maybe even less than that. We're about to hit Dresden. Yep. About to hit Dresden. Most of my troops are uh, looking real good, up to strength. They have a lot of equipment. We need support equipment, light tanks, fighters, close air support. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. Iran wants to send us six more divisions. That's fine. All right, so let's keep pushing. Let's go on speed five. I do want to see how this goes. Performance is not bad, actually, for what it could be. Uh, most of these troops are veteran or regulars, which is really nice. We actually don't even have any more green troops, really. We're still on the outskirts of Berlin. It looks like the Soviets are probably going to get there first. I think. Probably. Yeah, the Soviets have a lot of troops here. They have a lot more than I do. 116 divisions. We've completely annihilated the German war force war effort yeah they've lost they've lost so many men um legion of romania was was a pretty good catch too german reich they're currently fighting with their faction that only surrender when all major faction members have in the war capitulated so germany germany and italy should just about be taken over we do need palermo and, and campania okay we're not here in berlin just yet we're gonna be there Sweden, okay, so Sweden and Norway, Norway's at war with the German Reich, not, not Sweden, hmm. Okay, so things have stalled out a little bit down here from what I can see. Interesting, we have like a hundred divisions there, holy shit. We have seven divisions coming here for some reason. I don't even know if I have any troops here. I guess I do. Let's see. Hopefully we can circle and annihilate these guys. I think they're going to be cut off. Yep. Looks like it anyway. 
go for capital ship effort. It's not necessary, but it's fine. Whatever. Oh my god, the Soviet Union is justifying against us? Holy shit. For what? It's weird. Apparently they're justifying against me, but it doesn't tell me... It doesn't tell me for what. I don't even know. Wow. Really? No way, man. Wouldn't it tell me if they were? It, it tells me here, but it doesn't mention much else. Okay, that's interesting. Guess we'll have to see how that goes. Holy shit. That's weird, man. I didn't know they would do that. Let's go for some industry. Soviet Union, huh? We're on the outskirts of Berlin right now. We're about to claim, what is this? This is, yeah, Munich. This is Munich and Bavaria. We're about to take it, actually. It looks like the Republicans are going to get there first. I've lost 338,000 men. The Republicans have vastly majority, vast, uh, have sustained the vast majority of casualties. Okay, so most of these troops are going to go north. It looks like we're going to leave Munchen to them. Or Munich, sorry, Munich. Um, we're about to push into Berlin. Actually, you know what? It looks like we took Berlin. We took it. Yeah, nobody else. So we have a lot of men moving up north. Occupation. The Germans have not surrendered yet. They're getting there. They are getting there. Let's go for, let's make a second offensive line right up, right up to here. Once we take that, it'll be all over. Okay, so speed five is fine. We do have resistance to occupation in a lot of places. So a lot of stuff needs to be repaired, sort of. Ship designer, that's fine. Yeah, might as well just. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Insufficient resources. That's... Yeah, I don't need them. I don't need them. Yeah, justification. What's going on? So, is it going to still tell me here what's going on here? Soviet Union. Hmm. Yeah, it says, it says that they're fabricating on me, but I don't see anything, so... Possibly they were at one point. Now they're not. I don't know. Let's go for production efficiency growth. Even though I've been producing mostly the same equipment, so there's not a lot of problems getting what I need. Resources, I need resources if that counts for anything, but... We still never deployed these, these lines. They were actually training this whole time. I never got a positive balance of light tanks after that, after the war began. It's really hard to see what's going on here. We've taken so much. Holy shit, the Soviet Union have taken the vast majority of this, though. Republic of Spain did really good over here, dude. I don't know how they did it. I really want to I want to try the Republican Spain campaign now. Looks like my men have been bottlenecked just a little bit. We're pushing up here. Advanced computing machine. We finished up what's left of that. Let's go for some electronic research. Looks like we're making, we're making the vast majority of gains now. I think the Soviets have backed off a little bit. We own Berlin. Hamburg is their new capital, so we need to take Hamburg. We're making impressive gains. The assault has slowed down just a little bit. It's not too bad, though. Germans have yet to capitulate. Actually, they're about to be there. 
94% towards capitulation. Italy has not done so either. To my knowledge. Because I think they still own southern Italy. No, the Soviets actually came and claimed it all. Okay. Soviets have troops in North Africa. So does Iran. Jesus. Incredible. Incredible. Let's improve relations with these guys. Let's see here. Concentrated industry. Beautiful. Let's go for... Engineering encryption. Come on, German. Surrender. You need to get Italy to surrender as well. Look at this border gore. Holy shit, man. Who knew that Turkey would have such great success? 200 allied divisions is what it looks like over here. I may not have rebuilt the Ottoman Empire, but... I did pretty good. <laughs> I think. Let's see here. We're finishing up this assault. It's going to be over in just a little bit. Oh god, there it is right there. The German Reich has capitulated. I guess Joseph Stalin claims that he was he was the one who made them capitulate. I guess he did, technically. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Denmark has been liberated. Okay, so let's... Um, Jesus Christ, look at this occupation, dude. Let's get the army to garrison some of this area here. Whoopsies. Yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? Damn it. Holy shit. Let's just garrison what we can, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so who's left? The fall of Berlin. The Soviet bear is growing. This is very true. Um, don't I own Berlin? I think I used to. No, I do. Yeah, I own it. Turkish Socialist Republic. That's right. Hmm. Let's see. Yugoslavia. There's Italy still there. For some reason, we haven't taken Italy. I guess they have not capitulated. Italy, yeah, Italy is not capitulated yet. Okay, so Japan is still going strong, too. I don't know how that's going to happen. I don't know how the hell in the world you can make Japan capitulate. China's in a faction with who? Oh, yeah, the Chinese United Front. That's right. An invasion of the of, of Arabia would be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and cancel the national focus for now. Alrighty, so I guess everybody will just garrison our new gains. How's the resistance? It's pretty bad. A lot of it here. A lot of that area belongs to the Soviet Union though, so. It's not my problem. Go for land auction artillery. Let's go for some artillery upgrades. Maybe we'll go for some inventory upgrades pretty soon. So Soviet Union diversify the program. 
Oh, they have a war goal against Iran. Oh. Damn. <laughs> yeah, so they just fight against Iran. They hate Iran right now, dude. And so that's... So they, they might declare war, not against me, but against Iran. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. That would suck. Although, actually, that might happen. <laughs> you know, Operation Unthinkable number two. <laughs> We have a lot of manpowers, which is nice. We need to support equipment, light tanks, fighters. We have a lot of things that need to be repaired. Okay, we have 102 civilian factories and we have 98 military factories. Very awesome. We have a huge need for rubber and oil as well as aluminum. Let's see. Yeah, dude, those factories. Holy shit. There's a lot of damaged factories. Let's get some of this going up. I think fighters are going to be less of a concern now. So let's do tanks, inventory, advanced artillery, support equipment, and then we'll have some of these vehicles a little further down. Yeah, that'll be a little better. Air doctrine, air, artillery, medium tanks. That's right, these are medium tanks. It's 1943, it's May 1943. Inventory equipment. Let's get some inventory into a tank. Italy's still kicking around. So, Germany lost 2 million. Japan, 490,000. Legion of Romania, 333,000. Italy, not that much. Republic of Spain, almost half a million. I lost only 366 or 67,000. Damn. Not bad at all, actually. We, we, those are those are pretty good numbers. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. I actually expected it would be a lot worse. Republic of Spain has a new Spanish Empire over here, which is crazy. I don't even know how that's going to work. An invasion of Japan? Mm -mm. I do not know. You cannot ask me that. Um, well, maybe we won't have to do anything anyway. It looks like the Americans are invading. Let's see how that progresses. We can actually even send... We can send the Americans some troops. That would be a way to... Um, hmm. Yeah, they're invading the home islands. So far, it looks like they're doing okay. I guess we'll find out. There's no real way to know. It looks like China did very well for itself. Jesus. 277 divisions. My god. Chiang Kai-shek, you've done never better. Let's see here. Hundred and seventeen divisions, Yugoslavia. Hmm. Interesting. What if we attack the Allies? I wonder what would happen. Who knows? Turkish Socialist Republic. It's awesome. Let's kick ass. What's going on over here on the mainland? We finally finished our land doctrine. Let's go for some better close air support and some better fighters. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to defeat Japan. 
Nope. Italy needs to fall too. Japan's going to be the last one to hold out. Nothing more to do here besides maybe resource excavation. We still have a huge deficit of some stuff. Allies, allies here, allies. Turkish communist block, common turn. Chinese united front. Hmm. That's, yeah, Montana. Very interesting. Looks like we might be more tank divisions on the way. Iran wants to send us some troops to fight a war that we don't really need to fight right now because they're waiting for Japan, basically. I wonder what happens if, if Japan capitulates. What happens if the Americans somehow win this, this invasion? Um, whoa. Yeah, some performance issues. Okay, well, uh, for now, I guess we're going to hold off. I guess we'll see what happens with the war in Japan. I don't know where to go from here. I can't really fight, you know, an invasion. I can't really invade Japan, you know. How am I going to do that? So I guess we'll... Um... Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know. I have no idea. Like, one thing I'm thinking is just to build naval dockyards and just produce ships but i don't i don't even see how that could really be possible at this point we'll see i guess we'll have to i'll have to investigate with it anywho i'm gonna go ahead and take a break here guys we'll be back with some with some more communist turkey soon uh thanks guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys soon